Hey guys, today I wanted to show you how to prepare a Pro Tools session for Mix to send over the internet, how to make it small enough. So, as you can see here, this song is currently 12 gigs. That is huge. And that's because there's a bunch of extra drum takes. That, you know, we're on playlist nine, that's our comp, but we have all these old ones. There's all sorts of audio we don't need. So I'm gonna show you how to clean it up and make it a lot smaller so that we can upload it to a mix engineer or whatever is needed for collaboration. First thing we're gonna do is save as and call it cleaning up or something of that sort. Then we need to get rid of all our extra playlists. So click on any playlist and go to delete unused and then you'll have this list. You click the top of the list and then hold down shift, drag down to the bottom, click the bottom. That will select everything. Now we'll hit delete. So there's all our unneeded playlists. Now we have all this audio that is not being used anywhere in the session, all these files here. So we're going to select unused audio. The quick keys for that are shift command U and then we're going to remove unused audio. Quick key for that is shift command B. Now it's gonna say, do you want to remove or delete? We're just gonna remove and then we'll save a session with everything removed. So we'll hit remove. I like to do that twice sometimes just in case. Okay, it got it the first time. Every once in a while it misses. Anyway, so we've cleaned up everything that's not being used in the session. Now we're going to go to save copy in and we're going to click all audio files, whatever format your mix engineer needs. I would generally just keep it at what it currently is. I usually work at 44.1, 24-bit and I work in Pro Tools 10, but if you're sending to someone on an old Pro Tools system, you might have to go down to seven through nine or really old and then hit OK. And now we're gonna make a new folder. I'm just gonna put it on the root hard drive so we can find it easily. And we'll call it the name of the song and we'll call it uh, for mix. And it'll chug away. I'm gonna pause this video recording and resume in a moment. Okay, so Pro Tools finished exporting that session. Now we check, let's see how big it is. So here's our for mix session click Apple I, it is a little over four and a half gigs. We can get a little bit smaller by going right clicking and hitting compress and that will make a zip file. That'll take a few minutes. Pause the recording one more time. Okay, the computer finished compressing that. Let's see how big it is now. So it's four gigs, it was 12. That's much more manageable as size to send over the internet. If you can get it under two, you can use Hightail and Dropbox and WeTransfer, they're all free under two gigs. You might have to use a paid uh, site or get a plus account to uh, send something that's that big. Well, I hope this helps you guys make your sessions small so you can send them over the internet. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and share.